Hello and welcome back to our ES6 intro on Free Code Camp. This is complete a promise with resolve and reject. So it says a promise has three states, pending, fulfilled, and rejected. The promise you created in the last challenge is forever stuck in the pending state because you did not add a way to complete the promise. The resolve and reject parameter given to the promise argument are used to do this. So we use resolve and reject to add a way to complete the promise. The resolve and reject parameters given to the promise are used to do this. Resolve is used when you want your promise to succeed and reject is used when you want it to fail. These are methods that take an argument as seen below. So we have const my promise is a new promise. It has its resolve and reject parameters. Then we see our arrow syntax here, which uh, say if, and then we have a condition here, then we'll resolve our promise. Uh, here, particularly, we're passing in this string that says promise was fulfilled. Else, if condition isn't true, then we're going to reject. And we pass in this string here, promise was rejected. The example above uses strings for the argument of these functions. So we see the strings here use, but it can really be anything. Often it might be an object that you would use data from to put on your website or elsewhere. So it doesn't necessarily have to be this string here. Make the promise handle success and failure. If response from server is true, call the resolve method to successfully complete the promise. Pass resolve, a string with the value we got the data, if response from server is false, use the reject method instead and pass it the string data not received. So we can just copy our resolve here, change this line, paste that there. We can do the same thing with reject, copy that, paste it here. The only thing that's changing is we got the data. So we got the data, and then here it's data not received. So let's see if we run test. We did pass. So the important thing we're taking from here is in the previous lesson, we learned how to just create that new promise. We left it forever in a pending state because we didn't have nothing in our body. Um, right now, what we're doing is we're creating this response from server. It isn't a const because the response from server could change. It's not always constant. It might uh, fail or it might uh, be true or succeed. So that's why we're using let. Uh, then we're saying if that response from server, so if there is, then we'll resolve if there isn't that response or it fails, then we're going to reject it with and then uh, pass in the string data not received. Um, so this is uh, basically another part of last lesson, but we're still going to learn a little bit more in the next lessons. As long as you're getting that, you guys are getting this, uh, which is basically that our promises take a resolve and a reject, which if the promise is... Uh, succeeds then we'll resolve if the promise fails then we'll reject um, make sure you guys are understanding that and I'll see you in the next one